It's a really, really big spider. Ooh, it's huge. I'm gonna go get some spray and spray it. I'll be back, spider. Slowly crawling away. Oh, it's gone now. Do not install the one that prompts you when you go to check for updates. Because that has an H boot that is locked. And you have to go to the HTC website, register your phone, and they report it to your carrier, I'm assuming, because it mentions that you void your warranty when you do so. I prefer to use alternative methods so I can flash my phone stock, and then if something happens, I can still use my warranty. Because rooting does void your warranty, unless you unroot. Then it's not void if your phone still works. And yes, when I get my Canon CCD, I will do a video on how to go stock. This is what will Josh do. This is my video on how to go from Android 2.3.3 to Android 2.3.4. I will have this link in the description. Basically, you'll choose between the Odex and the Deodex. I would recommend the Deodex because you can apply themes and stuff. So what I would do is copy the MD5 and click on this. I've been using Down Them All since Firefox 2.0 beta and now we're on Firefox 6. Normally I would just click this and it would start the download right away but I'm gonna click this one and then OK and right here it lets you choose the MD5 and just paste it and click start and I've never found any software that downloads stuff faster than this. It does take it a second to start picking up but I've never found anything that downloads stuff faster. I already have it downloaded you either get a micro to full size SD card reader, plug your phone up to your computer and transfer it that way, or what's well, a really big file to put in Dropbox and download on your phone. But hey, if you have the space, you can do it. I don't really have the space, and that would take forever to download when transferring is much faster. Yes, Leet Noon Productions, I drop my phone a lot. By the way, I won't be using this camera much longer. Um, if my payout's big enough, at the rate I'm going, I will be able to get a Canon 60D at the end of this month, which isn't too far away. So, my videos will look much, much better. Okay, so I got my phone nice and set up. I just downloaded the Deodex 386 megabyte zip, or whatever size it was. Menu, settings, about phone, software information. I'm using Viper ROM 1.3. And I'm using Android 2.3.3. See, that looks crystal clear and amazing on there, but crappy in here. Whatever. Done with this camera. So with it on the SD card, so go over here. We can choose ROM manager. Install ROM from SD card. Go all the way down. I do have the Odex and the Deodex, but I'm going to choose the Deodex. And only choose the third option. Wipe Dalvik cache. C -c -c cache. Now it's going to reboot to recovery. I drive a stick shift and I keep my phone on my lap so that I don't have to reach in my pocket and grab it whenever someone calls me. And I get out and I forget it's on my lap and it falls on the ground. So it's all across here, all over the top and the sides. See, my Viper ROM isn't there anymore. It's now the stock boot logo. Now I did do 2.3.4 at work and my Gmail kept force closing so you're probably going to get a force close on your Gmail. That screen just looks beautiful but on my camera it looks like shit. Yep, Gmail force closed. How I fixed this was I wiped the phone. I chose the second option in ROM manager and I wiped it completely just installing the 2.3.4 update. Then it didn't force close. I wonder, let's do this real quick. What the hell? I don't know how to get Gmail to stop force closing.
I give up. Menu, settings, about phone, system information, 2.3.4. Again, I cannot wait to get my new camera. And here you go. I'll show you this too. Because there is an update you can do, and I'll do a separate video on that. And it upgrades your PRI and the build and stuff like that. And the radio, which is the baseband. Another thing it did is if you hold down the home button and the power button, it's supposed to take a screenshot. See if I can get it to do it. Screenshot! Yeah! Hold power, press home. Ah! Hold power, press home. What's the trick to this? Okay, hold them both at the same time. Like we'll open plume. Press power, then home. Okay, so yeah, it does it. Oh, I downloaded Backtrack 5. I'm going to put it on a flash drive and see how good it works. I really liked Backtrack 5, but this is R1. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash disturbed1. This is what would Josh do, and this is my video on how to update to Android 2.3.4 on the HTC Evo 3D. It's supposed to remove bloatware, give you screenshots, and just do an overall big update from Android 2.3.3 to Android 2.3.4. Again, I'm getting a new camera, my videos are going to look way better than this from now on, and I'm going to be doing ROM reviews, like I like Viper ROM a lot, I want to install other ROMs, all my videos will be edited in HD and look amazing, just like Zetomat. He's a good Good guy. I just like to edit and make my video short. Okay, before I go real quick, what I did was I used Titanium Backup. I went to Gmail. I uninstalled it. It said it was like a different version. So I clicked on it. I clicked uninstall. And then I went to the market and I downloaded it. And now when you click on it, it loads. This is what would Josh do. And now I'm out.